Hello, dear boys and girls. Welcome to our English lesson. I hope you guys are ready for our lesson. And today we are going to talk about adjectives and adverbs. Let's go. But first, let me ask you a question. What is an adjective? Adjective is a word which describes or gives more information about a noun or pronoun. For example, a young girl. In here, the word young is adjective. Adjectives describe nouns in terms of such qualities as size, color, number, and kind. For example, the lazy dog sat on the rug. The lazy old brown dog sat on the rug. Usually, an adjective comes before the noun like tall man and it can also come after a, a form of the word be the man is tall and what about adverb what is an adverb adverbs describe verbs adjectives and adverbs in terms of such qualities as time frequency and manner they are also used to describe how, where, when, how often, and why something happens. And now, look at the examples below and read them. Our holiday was too short and the time passed very quickly. And the second one, two people were seriously injured in the accident. So the words quickly and seriously here are adverbs. Many of them formed from an adjective plus ly. For example, quick, quickly, serious, seriously, quiet, quietly, heavy, heavily, bad, badly. But not all words ending in ly are adverbs. Some adjectives end in ly too. For example, friendly, elderly, lonely, silly, and lovely, and too many others. Adjectives or adverbs. The words quick, careful, and other adjectives tell us about a noun, something or someone. As we mentioned before, we used adjectives before nouns. For example, Sam is careful driver, not a carefully driver. We didn't go out because of the heavy rain. So the adverbs quickly and carefully, and too many others, tell us about a verb, how somebody does something or how something happens. For example, Sam drove carefully along the narrow road. Not drove careful. And the second example, we didn't go out because it was raining heavily, not raining heavy. And now, guys, let's compare the sentences. So the first sentence, she speaks perfect English. We mentioned that the adjective describes a noun. Here the adjective is perfect and it just describes noun, that is the word English in this sentence. And let's read the second sentence. She speaks English perfectly. And the adverb describes the verb, or we can say that adverb describes how the action is done. And in the second sentence, the adverb is perfectly. And it describes the verb, that is the word speaks in this sentence. So this tells us how does she do this action. Adjectives usually come before nouns. It was an easy exercise. And also adjectives usually come after certain verbs, such as appear, be, feel, look, seem, smell, sound, and taste. For example, this man looks kind. Adverbs usually come after verbs. For example, I did the exercise easily. And they also come before an adjectives. 
For example, he is easily upset. And finally, adverbs come before another adverb. She did the exercise incredibly easily. In most cases, to create an adverb, we simply add ly to the adjective. For example, quick becomes quickly, and slow becomes slowly, and too many others. But some adverbs are irregular, and let's talk about them. So the word good is an adjective and describes a thing. For example, what's the weather like? It's good. Here we are describing a thing. We'll look at another example. She is a good violinist. Somebody who plays the violin, she is good. And the word well is not an adjective. Well is an adverb. And it describes a verb. For example, he plays the trumpet. But can you describe how can he play it? Yes, he plays a trumpet well. The next irregular adverb is fast. Fast doesn't change. For example, this is fast car. Oh, the car is fast. Here we are describing car. The car is fast, but also he drives fast. And we can see that fast doesn't change. And irregular adverb hard. Hard also doesn't change. And the reason, if we put ly at the end of the hard, we make the word hardly. And hardly means almost not. For example, I hardly work means I almost don't work. It's the complete opposite of I worked hard. Hard doesn't change. So let's do the example with adjective. This question is hard. And with adverb, I work hard. Another one that is similar to this is late. If we add ly to late, we get the word lately, and it means recently. For example, so he arrived late, but not he arrived lately. Okay guys, and it's time to have a practice. Let's do some exercise all together. And now, we are going to have a little test. We have to choose the correct answer. Is it adjective or adverb? And in the first sentence, the answer is well. The boy played the piano well. Let's do the next one. And here, the right answer is angrily. He speaks angrily. Because we are describing an action. How does he speak angrily? Uncle Paul arrived lately. And the right answer here is lately. And the last one. My best friend was terribly sorry. And here the right answer is terribly. And in the next task, we have to write down what the underlined word is. Is it an adjective or adverb? For example, fast runners win races. So here the underlined word fast is an adjective. I'm going to give you some time. Let's go.
Have you finished? Let's check your answers all together. In the first sentence, learning languages is difficult. In the underlined word difficult is an adjective. The second sentence, I notice a good student. And the word good in this sentence is an adjective. Maksat told truly to his teacher. Here we are describing an action. And the word rudely is an adverb. You have done well in your test. And the word well is an adverb. The clowns are very funny. And the word funny here is an adjective. Munara is a very pretty girl. And here we are describing a girl. That is the noun. And the word pretty is an adjective. The next one. Leopards run fast. Here we are describing the verb. And the underlined word fast is an adverb. And the next one. Anne looks very sad. Here the right answer is adverb. And the next one, Bakut plays the piano beautifully. And here the right answer is an adverb. My father is very busy in his office. And the right answer here is an adjective. And the last one, the police arrived immediately. Here we are also describing an action. And the word immediately is an adverb. You have done great job. So in this task, we have to underline the correct form. Is adjective or adverb in each sentence? I'm going to give you some time. Let's go. Have you finished? Let's check your answers all together. So the first sentence, he left the room quietly. And the right answer here is quietly. In the second sentence, Janat works hard. And the next one, he is a very nice man. And here we used an adjective. And the next one, the sun is shining brightly. Here we also describe an action. And the right answer here is an adverb, brightly. Smoking is bad for your health. And the right answer here is bad. Samara behaves very well. Danyari is always dressed smartly. And the next one, Zamir shouted angrily at me. And the next one, this chair is comfortable. He smiled sadly. And the last one, you drive very slowly. And now it's time to have a break. Let's dance all together by watching the video. Oh. Uh -huh. 
It's time to be back to our practice with adjectives and adverbs. So, in this task, we have to rewrite the sentences below using the correct form of an adverb. For example, there was some heavy rain last night. Yes, it rained very heavily. I'm going to give you some time. Let's go. Have you finished? Let's check your answers all together. The second sentence. Aren't the children quiet? Yes, they are working very quietly. And the third one. James has a loud voice. Yes, he always talks very loudly. Isn't the teacher angry? Yes. He is shouting very angrily. The exercise on this task is the continuation of the previous one. Let's do this one too. Let's go! Time is up. Have you finished? Okay, let's check your answers then. Dilora's friend happy today. Yes, she is laughing very happily. The telephone rang in the middle of the night. Nurlan was very sleepy. He answered it very sleepily. Kate likes playing slow music. Yes, she is playing this piece very slowly. Good job! Here, guys, I'm going to give you a little interesting test. I'm gonna give you some time for each of them. Let's go! So here, the right answer in the first sentence is beautifully. Good job! Mei Li dresses beautifully. You were absolutely right. The right answer here is sad. Eric likes to sing sad songs. The soup tastes good. Good job! The right answer here is good. And here, the right answer is clean. I like to live in a clean house. Jean speaks Chinese fluently. And the right answer here is fluently. The eagle sees well. Here we are describing an action. 
And the right answer is well. Billy usually sings sadly. You have done great job and now it's time to say goodbye. Thank you for your attention. Have a nice day.